Hello and welcome to World of Warplanes. Today I would like to do a review of a Polish premium plane PZL P38 Wilk. Wilk in English means wolf. In this video I would like to share with you a few historical facts and show you my recent gameplay of this plane. I would like to hear your opinion about this film in the comments below and if you, if you will like it please give me your thumbs up and of course don't forget to subscribe about the plane. In 1934 the Polish Air Force ordered a new multi-role heavy fighter bomber able to carry 300 kg bomb. It was initially supposed to replace the fighters in both pursuit and escort duties and light bombers. A popular idea at the time which resulted in the aircraft like a Messerschmitt Bf 110. P-38 Wilk design was based on highly successful Polish bomber PZL P-37 Wash. Wash in English means moose. Please see both planes next to each other during Paris Air Show in 1938. Wilk looks like a smaller brother of Wash bomber. In 1937 two prototypes of this plane were made. First prototype received 490 horsepower. PZL Foca, which means seal, lightweight V engine. Due to the technical problems, it was decided to use a foreign engine. Second prototype received 420 to 450 horsepower American Ranger SGV770B engine, which were less powerful than the initial PZL Foca one. As a result, the prototype didn't meet expected performance. It was flown on February and March of 1939 and also did not meet the expected performance. E estimated maximum speed for this plane was 520 km an hour, uh, while it hardly reached 465 km an hour. It was also too heavy, uh, 2155 kg instead of 1715 kg, and had too small useful load. Because of these facts, further development of PZL P-38 Wilk uh, aircraft and Fokker engine was abandoned in the spring of 1939 in favor of the new construction PZL-48 Lampard, which was modification of Wilk but with radial engines. One of the interesting engineering facts was that the gunner who was sitting at the back of the plane could turn his chair by 180 degrees, which allowed him to control the plane possibly in case of emergency, for example, when the pilot was injured uh, to land the aircraft. Another interesting engineering idea for P-38 Wilk was that the wheels in the main landing gear partially protrude from the nacelles when retracted, making gear up belly landings easier to control and less damaging in case of emergency. The same solution was also used in modern military plane A-10 Thunderbolt II, also commonly referred as a Warthog or Hog. But that's okay, I hope uh, you enjoyed a few facts, so let's crack on and let's get into our gameplay. As you can see the matchmaking was quite favorable for us. We are tier 3 and we are playing with the tier 2s. And it will be much easier to kill definitely the defensive planes. Uh, I found that actually with the lower tiers it's much much easier uh, to put them down. Uh, and if you will go with the higher tier you just need to shoot them for a little bit longer. But still not bad. Okay, what do we have with this bomber? Uh, let's go to the left and uh, we'll drop the bomb. Uh, that At least that's the that's initial plan and then we'll get a few, few frags uh, on the defensive planes. Dropping bomb, um, I would suggest of choosing a bit bigger target first, because of course if, if you have uh, one really nice bomb that should drop the, on the whole compound, damaging the whole, whole compound would give you more points. Uh, of course just try if you can, just take some of the AA guns, um, less shots in yourself and uh, that should help you with the game. And now trying to get some, some defensive planes, a few shots. That's a really good one. So, as you can see, the 20 millimeter cannon is 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 quite powerful here. Okay, and boom, there we go. We just just uh, two planes, 
one whole compound we just dis dis defeated. Uh, if you if you go to my uh, previous films when I was just talking about bombers, if you're they're taking down the whole compound bigger, not the AA gun, that, that gives you less points. Bigger compounds you're destroying in one go, more points from uh, from taking the uh, the base you have. Alright, uh, we just took the one of the one of the bases, now let's move on to the middle one. Of course, controlling the middle one, it very often means you're controlling the game, especially when your uh, teammates can spawn in the, same, in the same location. It's much easier access to all of the other ones. And uh, in here, I would say this one was relatively quick, and then I was quite lucky with a few other ones that were just needing to be uh, finishing because of the health bar. And three planes just like that, that was pretty good. You can see the power of 20mm autocannon supported by two 7.92mm machine guns. Really, really nice. I know the heavy heavy fighters are not the best in the dogfights, but you know I, I just couldn't resist. I was I was going pretty well in this location, and uh, I thought like why not if if I can, uh, if I have a support with uh, quite a few teammates in that location, then why not try to take uh, take few planes down with uh, with my heavy heavy fighter. Let's chase this one. Okay, and uh, as you can see, I got one of the fighters just just behind me. Initially, I thought maybe I can just 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 uh, avoid his fire, just just go down, maneuver a little bit, stop the plane, and maybe he'll just overpass me. But uh, unfortunately, that I think didn't work for me that well. And also, I think someone else helped me because my health bar just went too quickly. So, well, hey. Um, in the meantime, as we are waiting for me to just to get back into the game. Uh, we are having in this plane one lovely 20mm cannon, it's a really really good one, although it's only one, it does the job. And also two other uh, machine guns, 7.92mm, they are doing the job. The gunner on the rear has got twin 792 as well, which, which really really helps when someone's chasing you or you really really need to have some defense. Right, joining up again back in the middle, that's what I mentioned, if you have actually having the base in the middle, you are controlling the game. So guys, always just go in the middle, always try to take this point. Uh, as we have a few enemies around the base and just trying to take that middle uh, middle base, we need to help the team to just uh, unfortunately remove the threat for us so we can just keep on controlling and get, have our game as a one. Uh, just, just winning it. Okay, I think this guy was maneuvering a little bit more, just like went into me. It's like, be careful mate. Okay, we have uh, a few more planes around, so let's try to take them down. There we go. It's not that bad in regards of maneuverability with this plane. As for the heavy fighter, well, BF is not as good. And if you look at the other ones, are also I think the the key Japanese tree layer three tree later on uh, has got pretty good maneuverability planes, but this one in its tier I think it's pretty good. And as you can see, 20 millimeter cannon really does the job. Okay, um, there isn't many planes around, so I was just hoping to go to another base and just take some uh, attack planes. Oh no, hang on, there are some. Yeah, there are some planes up, and uh, all right, let's let's try to. There we go. Look what this 20mm cannon can do. It's really great. This tries to come back to me, unfortunately missed. Let's try to run away. Okay, just, just putting the, uh, pointing my nose down and just uh, trying to accelerate a little bit. I can accelerate over 400 very quickly and hopefully he will not be able to cope and my friends and uh, defense planes can help me to deal with this guy there we go okay so one he's down let's move on to the base and uh, try to find some attack planes because 
one of the purposes of this heavy heavy fighter is actually just to take the bombers and attack planes. Well, as you can see, we're already quite ahead with, in regards of points uh, with our team. So let's keep on helping the team to win that battle. Okay, going to another location. I think I've seen few attack planes trying to... Oh yeah, there is one. A few attack planes in this area, so I think we'll try to take a few of them. Let's do what this plane is supposed to be. Taking down the attack planes and the bombers. Oh, there you go. Putting uh, putting the plane on fire. I think I think that PV3 is just trying to chase me. Uh, again, let's try to run away. Accelerate a bit. We should be faster, so hopefully he will give up, and hopefully we can just... Yeah, I think he's uh, he's going back. Yep, so once he gave up, try to turn around. You know what, let's deal with him. Uh, especially when, if we'll manage to do that, he will not be able to join the gameplay. So the squall is coming. It's already here, so the guys can't join the game. Right. Unfortunately, I didn't... Well, I wasn't fast enough to help my teammate. But I was fast enough to just take the revenge for my previous kill. Okay, so second attack plane. Why not? There you go, 20mm cannon for you. Although it's only one, it really does the job. I think with the two of them, that plane would be way too much. Way too powerful. Okay, there's another one. Brilliant just heading on the front of us really guys if you'll see the heavy fighter just coming to you just just ram it or just i don't know do something else that is just making a super easy target right we have a bomb loaded so let's try to get a few more points uh, from the ground target and drop the bomb and if we can oh hang on there's a fighter plane yep let's deal with the fighter plane because otherwise he will deal with us and we don't want that there you go. And I managed to help my teammate. Awesome. Okay. Uh, let's try to... Yeah. AA gun definitely is going to remove some threat for us. Hang on, there's, a, there's one attack plane in front of us. Let's try to get to him before other, other guys will go through. Okay. So far we are just going ahead of the team. Good. Not bad, not bad so far. Over 600 meters of effective fire range for this 20 millimeter autocannon really makes a difference. Okay, just getting closer, come on. And it's in range. Right, let's try to take him down. Keep it up. Victory is almost ours. Let's try to deal with the door now. That's, I believe it's a premium plane as well. Sorry, mate. Okay, so we are almost at the end of this battle replay, so let's summarize this plane in a few words. Is it worth it? Well, I decided to get it when it was on a 50% offer, which is 450 gold. So if you really want it, I would uh, recommend to wait for another event uh, or discount or offer from Wargaming and uh, get it for yourself. You have to remember this is the tier 3 plane, so you will not be able to use this plane for any event missions and uh, you will not get any medals for it, uh, for those games, despite of how good the result of the battle is going to be, which you will be able hopefully to see in a minute on uh, the battle summary uh, from this battle. It's purely for, for a good game and the good games you will have with this plane. Um, as you can see, 20mm uh, autocannon and two machine guns can deliver a punch. And if you will play it well, you can see this plane can actually do a really good battles. Okay, that looks like uh, the end of this gameplay replay. As you can see, a grade 1 badge, brilliant, uh, almost 20,000 personal points. Quite dominating the game this time. Okay, let's pause here before we'll go to the, the end of the game and the battle result. So let's compare to our, our plane, P-38 Vilk, to other tier 3 planes in, uh, in the same 
um, level, which will be a Focke-Wulf FW57 and a Dornier 17Z-7 Kaus. Um, as you can see in regards of the gun armament, they are very very similar. I think the only difference that the Focke-Wulf 57 is a bit higher is that got two 20mm autocannon in compared to one for Dornier 17 and P38. Um, also, it can take a little bit few more bombs. Uh, it has got a better alt altitude performance, but it's not, it's just a marginal. When where P38 is just taking the edge is actual maneuverability. It's almost twice as high as the other two planes, and that's where you will get the edge. So as as I, as you will as you are able to see, you can go into some dogfights, and uh, and you can uh, be quite successful with it. Just be careful. To have the support of your teammates because if you will just get on your own in the dogfights when there's no other support planes well you are at the end of the day a heavy fighter playing p38 vilk so just uh, run away quickly and come back uh, with your friends uh, with your teammates and just uh, give the rest of the team a hell because you, as you could see you can do that all right let's go to the battle summary so 23 frags, not bad. Uh, I think this is the record in this plane for me. I have usually have a bit less than that, 15, 17, uh, between 10 to 15,000 points of the personal ones. I think this one was, was pre pretty good for me. But, um, also, as you can see, well, capture points 710. That's not bad as for tier three, just trying to take some few bases. Only for attack planes, well, it's always not, not so bad. I think for as for tier three, that was pretty good result, almost twenty thousand points, uh, eighty two thousand credits. That that was not not that bad. So I hope you enjoyed the, the gameplay replay, uh, and that that gave you a little bit of hint of how we can play, how we can use the advantage of this uh, of this plan in order to get the really really good gameplay for yourself. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope to see you soon, and take care, guys. Bye bye.